obviously, right? Yeah. So the whole DNA orientation, time, skills, energy was spent to to get rid of the autocracy, yeah. whether it's Rana or the Panchayat or the ones mm -hmm. behind that. So when you invest your time, skills, energy of all your caterers uh -huh. and all your team, the whole DNA is only uh, skilled or you know, the whole Focused DNA is that. about you know getting rid of that, right? Yeah. Now the DNA of Vivekshin Nepali is about creating prosperity. Okay. It's not about getting rid of something. Okay. It's about creating something out of nothing. And that's going to replace the thing that... Exactly. That's right going now. to be the only way we preserve democracy right now. Because so, when we talk about democracy, democracy, what preserves yeah. democracy in the United States? Uh -huh. It's the prosperity right. that generating engine, right? And it's a side product preservation of democracy and human rights concept is well, that, of the activities. The problem is we've we've got the constitution, yeah. we've got all the right words, uh -huh. right um, you know mechanisms, uh -huh. but the only way to protect that is when people have enough resources to create a you know a prosperous family okay. and stuff. So yeah. this is where the actual Nepal's DNA is different from the okay. exist the, the, the political old, system yeah. and ideology. System. Where we know, well, we're learning the skills, uh -huh. we're exercising the skills. Uh -huh. Um, so that when we reach power, uh -huh. we know what to deliver. Okay. Because the political parties knew only what to get rid of mm -hmm. in the past. Okay. The old political yeah. parties, they, they never learned about what to, how to What's deliver, the next step how that, to deliver, yeah. you know, the, the, the fruits of democracy. Okay. That is why you guys are collecting votes or trying to empower youth leadership. Well, it's not just youth, it's just Nepalese. Because Nearly four out of five Nepalese are under forty, I think. So at least what that means is almost everyone is young. Okay. So we don't even have to say yes. It's uh -huh. just Nepalese, yeah, right? Yeah. Or you know, so you know, Vivek Singh Nepali is trying to create Nepalese mm -hmm. to use their Vivek more, right? Mm -hmm. To make better make decisions sense. about their leaders, yeah. you know, make better decisions about their lives. Uh -huh. To create an environment where you can actually do that. Okay. So we are focusing. So is T and and why she is now part of the election Nepal. <laughs> I think uh, just and to answer your question, uh, we have this bivakshil fellowship program, mm -hmm. and so far, four of them have joined us from all over the country, or all over the world rather. Mm -hmm. uh, we have we had um, two from the U.S., one from the U.K., and one from Australia right now. So, so for the fellowship, they gotta work in Nepal, basically. Like yeah, they have to be yeah. in Nepal, working in our office or in the field. Yeah. So they volunteer their time, full time, for at least one month. Mm -hmm. So this shows that over the one whole year, just for our fellowship program, we have had mm -hmm. four of them, and people like me, and uh, there's also a few who have connected to us through our research and development wing as well. Uh -huh. About I think three to four and other three to four people, and many more, uh, more loosely. Uh -huh. So we are seeing the trend increasing as we come closer. And Alok and a couple of others we have met in this trip alone have uh -huh. kind of guaranteed us that they are coming back in the next few months. Okay. So this really shows the, the growing momentum. The progression. Yes, momentum. the progression. And we know that uh, as more people like them join, we're going to have this multiplicative effect. Uh, people have perception that we actually is a social, mm -hmm. social organization rather than a political organization. What I take that historically in Nepal, when Jangobati Rana came, he came through the destructive model. Mm -hmm. He used like weapons to come into the power. Mm -hmm. When Nepali Congress toppled Rana regime, then again it used guns and everything mm -hmm. like the civil war. Then again, UML came, mm -hmm. it came through the like Violence. Uh, violence and again Maoist came through the violence. Mm -hmm. So if you see historically in like 200, 300 years in Nepal's political history, none of political organizations started their political journey through a peaceful manner. So people largely have this misconception that political parties should start with violence. Mm -hmm. Therefore, therefore, this misconception that has been challenged by Vivekshi Nepali by saying that you have to have a paradigm shift when you are going to do politics in 21st century. Yeah. So people do have misconception because that's a historical perception that political party emerges through one year destructive. Mm -hmm. So Vrikshin Nepali has 
change that connotation of the politics. So that's that's my point. That's my take. And uh, why, coming to your last question, that why people don't know about the relation to Bali, I think it's my guess that you might have met people who are already above 40 or above 50. Mm -hmm. And uh, the ground is completely like different, that people in our constituencies are more about like less than 40s. Mm -hmm. And they're very much like social media savvy people. Therefore, there, there is a difference. People of our years, even less than my years, who is in mid twenties, mid like thirties, they may know it more. Mm -hmm. they, they value this our practices and our philosophy. Mm -hmm. But people above our years may not be updated with the new system, mm -hmm. so they may not care about. Therefore, people who care about particular things, they care about only their cocoons, mm -hmm. and we're out of their like limited areas. So there may be the conception that may not people may not have heard them. Mm -hmm. But if you see the other side, like 400,000 followers we have in Facebook, yeah. and that's the largest political party's followers in the website, mm -hmm. even the Nepali Congress and UML may not have that number. Yeah. Therefore, there are, these are the quite different things that our constituencies, our members, these are quite different than the existing traditional political parties' yes. baseline. So there may be like that. but. Uh, of course, you're right, in certain age we have not reached as we should have, mm -hmm. but in another age group we have penetrated very largely. Yeah, I think the, yeah. Hmm. So, so uh, again coming back to the initial point, what, what makes the, uh, the Vivek Shin Nepali's existence very significant? So we're trying to change the definition of politics in Nepalese perception. So while, while changing this definition, it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. Because we should have the ideas, we should have the structures, we, need, we should have the different behavior. So it may take a bit time mm -hmm. to establish these ideas. Mm -hmm. As you see the history, like uh, Congress took a long time to come mm -hmm. into power. Mm -hmm. It was not an overnight journey that mm -hmm. they became into power. Similar things happened with Nas, mm -hmm. like more than 10 years mm -hmm. civil war journey and even in the background they spent like another 20-30 yeah. years. So we are not in the short run, we are in the long run mm -hmm. and we are not in a rush to be like a, like a wildfire mm -hmm. because it may be a destructive in, in the long run. Mm -hmm. So we want to retain our qualitative ground mm -hmm. and only we somehow move ahead when our quality remains constant or even go above. So we are not more focusing on quantitative things. We are constantly focusing on qualitative output, as he said, and as Anusha said. We are focusing on delivery. So once we get our competence in that level, growth is somehow it's an automatic moment. So that's that's my take. By transparency, you know, one aspect is financial transparency, right? Yeah. From the day we started our movement, mm -hmm. we put our income expenses online for everyone to see mm -hmm. so everything is transparent so you know who funds us who doesn't fund us and where the expenses are mm -hmm. now this is what this creates is the values is very infectious okay. the bad ones is also infectious the good ones right yeah, that's right so our model is a positive virus model mm -hmm. we we want to infect others with our values mm -hmm. so they become like us you know the country will not it's not our, you know, in our DNA to say only Vivek Shin will be there. Yeah. We want everyone to be Vivek right? Exactly. So in the end, you know, the greatest probably situation would be probably if there's a Vivek Shin party in power mm -hmm. and a Vivek Shin party in opposition, right? Yeah. Then that, that would be a nice check and balance okay. and, and that creates a lot of prosperity for, for our. The whole idea, you know, when we talked about the positive virus model, so what do we want to do is, yeah went clean money, mm -hmm. clean politics. Mm -hmm. That is theme worth, you know, going for because that's not what is happening in Nepal mm -hmm. exactly. in the traditional. Yeah. See, so that is why you know we we are we're building a network of positivity mm -hmm. throughout the world mm -hmm. and in Nepal, so that um, this clean money, clean politics becomes the norm mm -hmm. in the next yeah. you know next series of elections. And that is why I think uh, where do you find you know 
bring money is by these young people that are actually uh, doing something right. in Nepal and right. around the world. Exactly. So we meet a lot of Nepalese yeah. who are willing to help out yeah. uh, first yeah. through their time. Yeah. That's what is most important is you know if you can invest your time, mm -hmm. energy to build policies to help with our you know marketing branding, um, leadership building, yeah. and then those who cannot invest their time, mm -hmm. we ask them to invest their clean resources. Mm -hmm. And then that's, I think, the combination of these two actually builds our system, mm -hmm. our engine. That's right. That actually cleans up the political system yeah. and inspires others to change. So it's a voluntary commitment towards the party. Right? Sure. Not financial. I'm one of you guys. I, I've been here for a while. I stay here and, and now I fully believe in Vivek Nepali mm -hmm. and what they are doing. So Ujjolda was here. Mm -hmm. He went back, started an IT company, right? He hired a few people. Mm -hmm. They started working for him. Uh, then what happened was those guys ended up opening their own company. Mm -hmm. They hired more people. Yeah. You see the relationship, mm -hmm. the chain reaction that it's creating. Yeah. That itself is the leadership right there. Mm -hmm. He chose to come to politics to change things. That's a different thing. Bivexil Nepali ko mu lotcha banego. Bivexil Nepal ro Bivexil Nepali or banonye. Bivexil Nepali ko member banonye hai nege. That's the biggest difference between Amira. Or a political party or mm -hmm. right? So when people are empowered, right? Man, she or entrepreneurship, also man, she or man, she or afternoon to get. Let's say best example then. So in Nepal, local zone, local gas station, okay. Texas, local zone, local gas station, California, local zone, local. They idea idea use got If they can go back and then open up chains of stores or something, create employment for the people down there. That itself is an example of leadership. 